Harry. I can't believe you haven't seen it, dude, man. It's such a great film. And then you can literally drill through one of those lives and the socket will still power up. What's good guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're in Manchester doing quite an interesting installation. So it's another job for Burgess Electrical. It's a massive medical job, loads going on, loads of surgeries, meeting rooms, all sorts. Today though, we're in the mains room and we're actually gonna be installing two IPS systems. They're really interesting, uh, isolated power systems, isolated power supplies, basically TT systems. I'm gonna try as best as I can to explain that throughout the video, how it works and the intricacies of it but my knowledge is very limited. So um, yeah, please bear with me, especially if there's any like specialist medical guys watching. The firm is educated on it. I've been briefed, I've got a good understanding. So it should be pretty good. I'm gonna start though by getting some tray on the wall. I'll probably B-roll this, get it out of the way, try to show you as much as I can, and then uh, we'll be able to get into the interesting bit. <laughs> They got double threads as well, so you can go six or ten, eight or ten. You can get different size ones. They fish are. Fisher fixing. Uh, I don't know. I got I got grants to source them, so they can get them now. And the impact gun in it straight away. Straight yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, what you haven't got though, mate, is any six mil uh, roofers. You got. Oh. Right, so I'm gonna see if we can win the way go because the boys have slept on this one. Scan and I'll win. I've got no signal. <laughs> oh no. Alright, to be continued. Yeah, cool. Get rid of some stuff, innit? Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm, he's making a lot of promises for me by the sounds of it. It's gonna, I'm going to leave it worse than I found it. <laughs> Impact and fixings. It's like venturing out into the fucking wilderness. Harrison, you got penny washers? No, didn't find any. You didn't find any? I didn't look to be fair. Well, I'll just use um, cutouts. Cutouts, yeah. What would you like to do? Um, no penny washers. Harry's got them, that's what he told me. He told me Harry's got them. Is that what he said? Yeah. Oh, found them. You are useless, mate. You are absolutely, literally, look how bait that is. I said it didn't look. They're <laughs> <laughs> literally there. Wait, you're baiting That's going to make the edit, mate.
Yeah, literally. That is literally where it would be, be a GoPro. Everything would be in focus. The lighting would be terrible in here. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were struggling anyway, but yeah. Um, and it would be slow and boring. And also, you'd probably see the corners of the room as well, because it's so wide and right, fisheye. Yeah. But yeah. Hopefully you guys can appreciate the, uh, the upgrades to the equipment. State well. well, can I have a go of it? Yeah. Cool, let me grab a battery. That's cool, it's just a two amp hour, but that'll be alright, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, mate. I'd never justify getting one, but this is sick. Let's go have a look. Let's get this loaded up. I think I'll be alright at this one, mate, to be fair. time for that that is wicked that will save you a lot of time man especially the, the domestic boys nice ah. it still needs finishing by young nickel I just put two in it but I don't want to get carried away what I need to do is set this to this mode so a red dot on that yeah and you can do this that's far better I ain't got to mess around with the buttons so trace done you would have seen from the from the lovely b-roll anyway but yeah we've got two drops here um the ips boards they sit about 160 so we've got a little bit of a gap there and the glanding plates at the back so that's going to be perfect and then we're just button them this way because we've got a battery rack for a ups system which i'm hopefully going to come back and do as well but that'll be a separate video whole separate thing just want to focus on the intricacies of of this today but yeah we've got these two stubs of tray now so i'm going to go get my mate jake and um, we're going to get the the panels lifted into situ. I've got two 10 mil supplies for them. And then, uh, yeah, these are the cables to go into them. So we've got all of our circuits for IPS1 there, all of our circuits for IPS2 there, and then, yeah, all of the IPS bonding cables. So these basically go to earth um, bars, what are they called? Can't remember the name, but they're basically see-through. Um, you see them in hospitals and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that bonds, you, you take this earth to every room and then you send a individual earth to every accessory. And what that means is there's a really low resistance to earth. Everything's bonded individually. And then on the circuits themselves, you don't install the earth. So on this TNE, we're gonna cut it out and tape it up basically uh, at both ends. And then because it's isolated through the isolating transformer and everything's at the same potential, I believe <laughs> that's how it's safe. The, the potential difference is, is really low. No one's gonna get a belt. And uh, yeah, that is sort of how the, it works circuit wise. Harry, we just need to carry these panels in. Apparently they're heavy. Got it? <laughs> the transformer must be at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> that is tough. Uh, has, have they got a trolley or anything? Just, I'll do it, but if he's got a trolley, it'll just make life easier. You're just here to help, mate. There is another one to do, so. Some muscle. We Getting there. This is what 50,000 inch wrap on the bench. Oh. I think just boot it. 
Where's that German fucking Still attitude got you lot anywhere? <laughs> Just fucking blitz it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what there is? There's a weir of socket set in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, twat, what a twat. A one that says IPS alarm. That's for there. Oh, okay, and that goes back out to that tell anything. That goes through an alarm panel to say when this goes into battery power, being fed by batteries, their alarm panel kicks off. Yeah, and also if there's a fault, I'm guessing. Yeah, basically. Cool. So that runs straight out there to that, which is fed from this. Okay, and then they're just more uh, obviously outgoing ways, but yep. PE1 and PE2. So your main earth coming in goes in here, mm -hmm. and then this is for your your what? bond. But I just bought with him straight onto here last time and he said that was fine. Okay. So I just put my main earth into that one. Yeah, 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 cool. Because this is all linked out, so whether it goes on here or in there, it, yeah, really it doesn't really matter. matter. So I think that's two more away, but it doesn't really matter as long as I know which one's which. The more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. That looks all right. Yeah. I'm gonna it from this angle yet, though. Yeah, it would do, wouldn't it? I'd just give it a little push this way. Yeah, let's bring that in, tighten up that. Yeah. No, no one will ever know. <laughs> no one will know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, turn that thing off. That's causing you, <laughs> that's causing you all sorts of problems, mate. Cool, so this can be run with the power because it's screened. And this basically goes to the alarms, so we'll talk about this more when we actually get the panel apart, but basically this system's designed not to trip, so they have a first fault and a second fault system. So yeah, if you, you can pretty much drill through a cable, um, drill through one of the cores, one of the two lives, and it won't trip, but it will notify uh, the alarm system in here, which will then trigger the alarm in the room and notify the occupants of the room, the, the surgeon or whatever, that a fault has occurred. And of course, you need to rectify that as soon as possible. But what you don't want is the power tripping when you're just about to cut into someone or whatever. Um, and yeah, the lights go off, the, the life support goes off, whatever, you can't have that. So that's why it's a first fault, second fault system. Um, I believe on the second fault it will trip and there's basically a temperature relay um, as well for like overload and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's really smart, but these are, these are basically the cables that go to those alarms. I'm just gonna tie them up here, uh, go into IPS2 with them, link across to IPS1 or vice versa, and uh, that will do that. My name's Brandon, but you have to call me Nighthawk. I can't believe you haven't seen it, dude, man. It's such a great film. Comment below if you've seen Step Brothers. To be fair, Harry is like a mega fan of Step Brothers. Harry, how many times have you seen Step Brothers? How many times have you seen Step Brothers, do you reckon? Hundreds? Maybe not hundreds. <laughs> I think we're only gonna get one of these wired in today, I reckon. So I've got the two IPS panels in place. I'm probably gonna explain all of this as best as I can whilst I'm doing all the glanding, to be honest, because it's pretty boring. It's gonna take a lot of time, so I'll just waffle on about it there. But I just wanted to quickly show you the gland plate as I've done it. So this is how I do them. I mark everything out in pencil. You can rub it off quite easily then. And I was just slowly methodical with it. I was looking at the tray, the cables, where everything's falling, everything's lining up, and then just using my engineer's square in situ to just mark everything up. I've got a 25 mil for my feed, three 25 mil stuffers for the six mils, three 20 mil stuffers for the four mils, two 20s for the two earth, and two 20s for the two control cables. I've actually written the numbers of the hole saw size as well next to everything, just so I don't make any mistakes when drilling this out. And yeah, just measure twice, uh, cut once as they say.
today. Pretty confident I'm gonna get this drilled out, get the other one drilled out, get these cables dressed in, and then I'll, uh, I'll get one put away for you guys and finally explain how this stuff works. <laughs> Right, some time has passed. <laughs> um, we've got all the cables for this one in, dressed in, glanded into the glanding plate. Pretty happy with them, could be better, but it's T&E at the end of the day, so it's, uh, it's always tricky. I'm now just putting them away. Everything's labeled up for me, so pretty easy. Yeah, this, this IPS system, so from what I can gather, and as much as I can, I can work out from the panel, the drawings, and from the guys who explained it to me, is this basically isolates the outgoing circuits from the installation's earth. Well, isolates it from the, from the rest of the installation and isolates it from earth. And then effectively you have two lives. So I haven't got any sleeving that fits this blue, but that will get re-sleeved when, when um, we get some on site, maybe by the time I'm back next time. And uh, yeah, we basically got an 11L1 and an 11L2, even though it's single phase. All the extraneous and exposed conductive parts within the areas that these circuits serve are bonded. And therefore, if there is a fault, potential, at least on the first fault, will be less than 50 volts. So it'll be super safe, less than a you know, dangerous voltage, touch voltage. And, and yeah, that's how it sort of works. When that first fault occurs, this monitoring relay picks that up. And it will also, we've got our two remote alarm cables here. So they'll fire back out and uh, notify the alarms within the premises so that people were aware that a fault's occurred, the first fault's occurred. And then, uh, yeah, you just want to try and rectify that before the, before the second fault. We've got a transformer down there, so that's that big old thing, weighs an absolute ton. And then, yeah, it's, it's actually super easy from an installation perspective because you're just on these, on these DIN rails here. You've got your incoming double pole switch here. You've got your double pole out, which goes to the, to the alarms. And then, yeah, we just got all our circuits going in here. Our earths go in there. These two, these two bonds go on here too, which pick up the, the EBBs, basically the earth bonding bars, which are earth bars with the transparent sort of lids. They go into the into the theatres, for instance, into the rooms that these serve. And yeah, they're just accessible, visible, probably be able to show you one of them as well. At the minute, there's just a hole in the walls and cables coming out. We've also got this, <clears throat> this sort of earth fault relay here as well. So it will literally tell you the, uh, the circuits at the the faults appeared on and then you've obviously got them remotely remotely too. To put these away like I said it's super weird because I'm I'm literally putting cables away with no that's 11 so this is 12 cables away with no earths in them but that's how it um, how it works. The uh, the earths want to be below 0.2 ohms believe that's the value that's why you send like a um what are these 16 or yeah 16 mil earths to the um to the earth bonding boards and then every accessory has its own earth so you, literally every single socket every single anything that's exposed extraneous every part of the circuit has got its own earth which goes back to the ebb so it's just a weird way of doing things but it makes sense. Obviously, the whole point of it is in medical locations. One, people are more at risk because, you know, you, you might be you might be cutting someone open. <laughs> so you're literally cutting through their skin, which is quite resistive. You don't realise how much we rely on that as a barrier. And then they could also be relying on some sort of life support or some sort of machinery to help with the procedure, the operation, whatever's going on. And you obviously don't want that. You don't want that going off because game over. So that's why they want to have everything bonded, keep touch voltages really low, make sure everything's sweet. But also you have the fault system where this can act, you can basically drill through this cable and it will still power itself fire one of the lives. The equipment, whatever, will keep running and this panel will just go, oh, we've had a problem, you better sort it out. But obviously I'm not gonna trip because you might be relying on me. It makes sense, it, it shows um, resilience, basically. And then there is a second fault system, which um, I'm pretty sure it trips on, upon the second fault. More, um, 
of an of an issue obviously you know once the first fault occurred you would look into it a bit more whatever yeah highly unlikely of course the other thing people don't realize is with these systems is everyone working within it is basically a skilled person everyone's trained to be familiar with the you know the first the first fault and the alarm going off and stuff like that there'll be reactive maintenance um, on hand to deal with that you know everyone's aware of the system it's in your house if an alarm starts going off on your fuse board you probably don't know what it is you call an electrician as in here the surgeon everyone knows what that means of course they're not going to shove their hands in here and start messing around with it yeah they, they know that something's awry and that they need to look into it i believe as well it's good for like if like say insulation breaks down on a on a bit of equipment that they're using in the theater you know if you've got a dodgy lead on something on a bit of equipment you don't want it to just trip the breaker when you plug it in but it will warn you it will go you know there's an issue here you need to look into it but it's not just going to bang out straight away because yeah again you just can't have it doing that so yeah it's it's so smart to be honest and what i wish i did before this video and what i might do before the next time we catch up so I'm actually going to delve into the the regs a bit more, and um, and and look into it really, just because it, it's pretty fascinating. What I did a few years ago when I was sad is I, I did read up on IT systems and uh, I found it super interesting. But yeah, that was just the system in general. I think I was looking at it more from like they use it in some forms of distribution as well, I believe. Higher voltages, something like that. Anyway, I did look into it, found it fascinating. But now to be doing it doing it in the real world it's pretty cool so I've got the first two circuits in there nice and neat I'll get the rest of these pumped in so this one is a four mil and the sleeving actually fits so I can show you what I mean by the whole two live sort of scenario so I'm literally going to sleeve that brown up see that <laughs> sleeve that blue up brown and then here you can see I've literally cut the earth out of the T&E so that's done there, and then I'm literally just gonna get some tape to one, hold the sleeving on, it's a bit of a hack, but two, it just neatens that hole, cutting the earth out of the t &E up, makes it look a whole lot nicer. Be good to use like a Hellerman sleeve to be honest, but I'm a little bit underprepared. I think on some IT systems, the neutral is connected to earth. Instead of, instead of isolating it from earth, it is connected, but it's a super high impedance, like really, really high. So yeah, but in this case, I believe we're, yeah, we're isolated from earth. And then you can literally drill through one of those lives and the socket will still power up from the, from the other one, which is mad. Sort of just bends all the rules. I think you have to look at it from like, not from the perspective of, of like earthing, you need to look at it from a different sort of perspective because when you think about it these cables will run down the wall with yeah no earth in them run down you know stud walls where you would normally fit an rcd and they've got no earth in them but everything you could come into contact with i guess it's, it's isolated from earth so yeah it's, it's just it's just mad if anyone's like an expert on this then do me a favor and uh Fill in the blanks, <laughs> fill in the blanks. So one of my favorite things though, is like doing something I haven't done before on the channel. You guys know me anyway, I'm a bit of a, a bit of an electrical nerd. Yeah, I love one showing you guys stuff that maybe I've done before, but I haven't been able to show you, but also if it's something new to me, then um, yeah, well up for that because every day's a learning day. I've been doing this 10 years, never done this before. Always learning, always learning. What have you learned today, Jude? Have you learned that you need to watch Step Brothers? Yeah. <laughs> You've basically watched the movie today, Free Harry. Yeah, yeah. right, so I'm just getting the feed in. I've had to tape them up rather than sleeve them because we haven't got any sleeve in again that fits this size you guys know me what I'd rather do it's not a big deal anyway especially on like most jobs most jobs you do what you're told as well that's the other thing man sometimes I get comments like oh you should have done it that way and it's like look I said to the site manager or the project manager or whatever this would be nicer but like 
who am I and do I even get paid enough to be arguing that no you should fit this or you should do it that way or whatever you know sometimes especially commercially industrially you just do what you're told within reason obviously something morally wrong <laughs> you probably step in that's the feeding so now I'm gonna get these two earths put away so these are super easy they're just gonna go onto this this bar up here cut them crimp them heat shrink them job done I'm just gonna put them on this right hand side basically so they're out of the way of everything old faithful the good old CK DOS sell these on loadout and this is a shameless plug because if you support me through loadout you're actually supporting the channel but yeah ck quite reasonable i think they're like 70 quid uh, they do 6 to 25 but most importantly they fit in your bag they're super light reliable get the job done a lot of printers are massive heavy the hydraulic ones are great but again take up a lot of space obviously you're not going to take over the world with them they're great for a domestic guy very limited in the wider world of commercial industrial but for general sort of use they get the job done perfectly fine great for um heating your house as well in the current climate washers and nuts these nuts <laughs> weirer now available on loadout also I don't know if we actually do the Cyclops uh, free eight set, but it will be coming soon. We're just slowly expanding the range. We don't like to overdo it. Um, I've done that with a lot of the things in the business, just take it slow. We've got a decent range of Weira available on the website. Go check that out. Link to loadout will be below. And like I say, if you support that, you'll be supporting the channel. That is not today's video sponsor though. Today's video sponsor doesn't exist. There isn't one, so. <laughs> have, have, a, have a week off, guys, all right? <laughs> right, so I'm all done. I've got the earth bonding bar connections in, and then, yeah, all of our circuits within the within the surgeries itself. Um, half of, this one serves half of one surgery and half of another, and then the other half of those surgeries are served from this one, so you've basically got like, redundancy for it to, to not fail which is pretty smart these two cables are not going to be connected they are basically the uh, control cables for the alarm the smart cables a bit gutted because it was probably the ones i was most excited to do but it is where it is the commissioning guy wants to do them that's part of their package they've got to do that but maybe next week when he's here and i'm back i can maybe grab him for a minute and get him to show us what the crack is with them let's uh let's get tidy and then Let's wrap this one up. So that is it for today's video. I'm actually stood in one of the surgeries, which is pretty cool. Over here, we have where the EBB is gonna go, the earth bonding bar. So you can see, we've got a main earth coming in, a couple of big ones as well. And then yeah, every socket's got like a four or six mil earth going to it. Hopefully you found this video interesting. If you wanna see more on the medical project, let me know. I'll try to get back here. I should be back here next week anyway. There's a UPS system in that as well. Change over switch, which will, be, which will be pretty cool. Batteries and all that. Thanks for watching. As always, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Check out Loadout as well for any tools, equipment you need. I'll catch you on the next one.